Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable the old classic volume control on your Windows 10 device. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you may be wondering what am I referring to? And if you go down to your system tray, you should see a little volume icon down here. And if you click on that, you see this is our volume control. And if you want to restore the classic one that could be seen in older iterations of Windows, particularly Windows 7, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, pretty straightforward process, and we're going to go jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in Reg Edit, so R E G E D I T. Best match, go back of Registry Editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it, so if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and select the File tab, and then Export. File name, I normally recommend the date that you're making the backup for the file name here. Export range, keep that at all, and then save it to an easily accessible location on your computer in the event that you need to retrieve that said backup. And you might be wondering how do you restore it back and pretty simple. You would just select file and then import and then navigate to that saved file. So pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to jump into it and we're going to start by expanding the HK local machine folder. Double click on it. Do the same thing for the software folder underneath. Same thing for Microsoft, and locate Windows NT, right here, go ahead and double click on that. Same thing for current version, and finally there should be something that says MTCUVC. Now if you do not see one in here with that value, we're going to go create one. So we're going to scroll back up to current version and we're going to right click on this folder, select new and then select key. We're going to name this key MTCUVC. So most of you guys probably don't have this key so that's why we just created it. So again MTCUVC and now on the right side you want to right click in a blank area, select new and then select the word 32 bit value. To be honest, most of you guys probably are going to have to create this key here. And also, I think it's a good time to note, if you need to pause the video, you can see our file path up at the top of the registry editor here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. So anyway, back to where we are, we just created a new D word value here. And we're going to name this value Enable MTC UVC. So, the E in Enable, the M in MTC, and the U in UVC are all capitalized. Everything else is lowercase. No spaces in between any of these words here. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Keep it at a zero value. Don't change it here. And if for some reason there was a value here, we're going to go double click on it. Again, make sure it's set to zero. And once that is done, you're going to go select OK. You will need to close out of here and restart our computer, so save and close out of any open programs and applications you may have open. And we're going to go ahead and restart our computer.
Okay, so it looks like it just was running an update here, so we're just going to skip over that. But other than that, you should, guys should be good to go at this point. And if we click the volume speaker icon, you see we got the classic Windows 7 one here. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.